Today, I'm gonna to be customizing the world's smallest Stanley Cup. As a lot of you know, the Stanley Cup is currently wildly popular, but for me, it's just a little too big. So instead of customizing this, we're gonna, oh, hey, dang, be careful with that. I gotta return that. Don't mess it up. I'm gonna be customizing this instead. You know, we're gonna be using the airbrush. Some tiny airbrush. I believe in you. I believe in me. Whatever. Let's get started. Now we're gonna start this out like we do absolutely anything and everything we're gonna paint. And we're gonna sand it and prep it. Stay still, you little booger. There. And since my tumbler handle won't fit into here, I guess I'll have to use my finger. Perfect. A little water, a little sanding and a little alcohol. There, perfectly prepped and all ready for paint. Let's go. <laughs> to start with, let's use sky flower. Ooh, pretty. The next color is gonna be Camilla, or Camellia. Uh, depends on if you're Spanish or not. For the last color, I think we're gonna use goose poop. <laughs> I mean, gooseberry. Silly goose. As if this beautiful airbrush fade wasn't good enough, I decided to torture myself and paint on some little bee tiny flowers. So I absolutely love Poshka. But is Posco gonna be just too big for this? Oh man, guess I won't be able to do it flowers, or will I? Turns out I found these huge basket markers that are actually the perfect size. And for this one, I think I'm gonna use purple. All right, so the flowers can't be absolutely huge. So I'm gonna start off with something simple. Whoops. I'll we'll turn that into a little leaf apparently. It is bleeding like crazy on this thing. Why is it running so much? It's because this is actually 3D printed and it's got a lot of ridges. This might be a bad idea. While I'm just doodling away at these flowers here, I wanted to mention that while making this video, I discovered that the Stanley Cup was founded all the way back in 1913 and was actually the first vacuum sealed tumbler flask, so to speak. I thought that was pretty crazy. Do you know when Yeti was founded? Hmm? Yeah, 2006. Stanley uh, beat him to the punch by a year or two. I just thought that was interesting. Carry on. There. Man, those flowers look great. And don't forget, always sign your artwork, no matter what. Even if you think it's hideous, sign it, knowing that you'll always be getting better, okay? So. Oh yeah, that turned out fantastic. Just look at that beauty. And in reference of sign your artwork, I'd gladly sign. There's a hair on it, just put my mouth there. Weird. But in reality, if you're gonna put this much time and effort into putting your artwork on something, why not make it something obnoxiously big? One, it's easier to work on, and two, more people can see it. You see what I'm saying? So if you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Also, drop a comment of some cool things you wanna see me customize next. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, God bless.